Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about TLT because in my previous video, I mentioned to go long when the price went above the red 50 weekly EMA. And at least short term, things were looking pretty good. And I mentioned to stay bullish as long as it's above the red line. Now last month, it fell through, in which case I mentioned I would be neutral. But after falling through this black line here, which represents the bottom support line of this rising wedge, then that's when I said I would be bearish because usually when a rising wedge breaks down on the bottom side, it has a lot more room to go down. Now this could be a false breakdown setup where next week prices go back up into this rising wedge again, but as long as it is still below the red EMA and especially if all the EMAs, the green and the blue, which represents 9 and 21, are all heading downwards, then there's no reason to be bullish yet, at least in the medium term. Today is November 1st, last day of the week. Right now I have 200 TLT and I'm going to sell all of it. So I'll just close my position. Order filled. And that filled at 9084. So I will lose over a thousand dollars on that. The next price target TLT would want to reach is down here because there was a previous demand zone here where a lot of buyers went in to push the price higher. If that breaks down, then we're looking at the low point of the last uh, couple decades, I guess. Now, if the Federal Reserve is cutting rates, then why are bond prices falling, you would expect falling interest rates to make existing bonds worth more money. Well, the Fed can only control short-term rates, and the people who hold 20-year-plus treasury bonds, the long-term bondholders, they might feel nervous if short-term interest rates fall too quickly, risking inflation to come back into the economy, which would be really bad for bonds. So the 20-year treasury is yielding 4.7% now. But if the bond market believes that inflation over the next 20 years is going up, then they're going to want to demand a higher yield to compensate for that extra risk of higher inflation because they don't want to have their investment lose too much purchasing power. Plus, we just got some data points recently that the U.S. economy is still pretty strong, which adds fuel to the inflation narrative and also encourages investors to rotate out of bonds and into other asset classes that would benefit more from a growing economy, such as equities. And that's why we're seeing stocks at all-time highs. At least the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones made all-time highs in the last couple of weeks. So in terms of when I will get back into TLT, well, let's see what the price does from here. If it tries to go back into the wedge, it gets rejected off the bottom of the wedge, then it's likely the price will fall further. But if it manages to get back into the wedge, and especially if it crosses these moving average lines, then I will get back into TLT at around maybe the $96 range as it is likely going to move up to the next target area, which is the top of this wedge, this black line here. And if that were to happen, then this past week uh, was indeed a false breakdown situation. So because I don't want to fall for the possibility of that being a risk, I'm not shorting TLT either. I just don't have any shares right now, long or short. The other thing to watch is the yield on the 20-year government bond. You can see right now it's broken through resistance. So I'm going to wait until this goes back down before getting bullish on long-term bonds again. So far, this does look like a topping process, but the green and the blue EMA has to hold below the red line in order for there to be continued downward motion. And we got that here, but now it's turning back up again. So nothing happens in a straight line. Longer term, this should continue to go lower, but at least in the short term, it doesn't look good. So that's it for now. I'll continue to keep an eye on TLT and follow up in the upcoming weeks, but good luck with your investments and until next time.